Well, it's funny who you bump into on the road with Aston Villa. Here we are at Anfield with a true commentating legend, Barry Davis. Great to see you here, uh, back on the airwaves. What's it like? You've done so much TV work. Back, back with, with the radio guys. Well, it's not really back with the radio guys. I never was with the radio guys, except right. many moons ago uh, um, after army service, doing an army cup final. Yeah. So I did one match last week. Basically, I'm standing in for, for John Champion on Absolute Radio, and uh, it's it's a real challenge. You know, I had to remind myself a bit last week, you're supposed to be saying something now, you know, um, <laughs> because I think I had a bit of a reputation for not talking quite as much as <laughs> some people did. Yeah. Here we are at a wonderful football venue, oh. as is uh, Villa Park. Do you, do you have any particular memories commentating on Aston Villa at all? Um, I've, I'm, I'm not as good as Motti on this, if I may bring Motti into it. <laughs> yeah. um, he remembers quite a lot of all these matches and kept all these pieces and lot. I get reminded, do you remember when you said so-and-so? And, and then I do, but it, yeah. trying to sort of think of moments, I find quite difficult. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and what do you make of Aston Villa this season under Tim Sherwood? Well, I mean, they're very much uh, um, uh, in motion coming forward to use a couple of cliches um, he he seems to love the pressure he's, he's almost bringing it on himself uh, by sometimes saying things with, a, with tongue in cheek like he did after the Birmingham game I suspect <laughs> second half performance was very good to watch yeah uh, be interesting to see whether today um, he's prepared to use those two players right from the word go yeah lots of young players and it is going to take them time to to gel and knit together but you don't get much time nowadays do you no you don't <laughs> particularly if you're a manager uh, <laughs> and um, I, you know I think this tends to be a bit exaggerated by by the modern media yeah. <laughs> uh, a few managers who built great careers probably wouldn't have survived. I mean, I'll give you one, for example. I mean, Alec Ferguson. He yeah. might, if in, in the modern media, he might not have survived because he had a really uh, rocky ride at the beginning of his time at Manchester United. Yeah. And he proved himself to be the greatest we've ever seen in yeah. this country, maybe in the world. And working with Brian Little today, a former Aston Villa great in, in, in managerial and playing terms. Looking forward to that? Absolutely. I think he knows a bit more about Aston Villa than <laughs> I do, both modern day and, and in the past. And I've commentated on him. Yeah. Uh, I could tell you about a brilliant goal he scored, if I could remember, <laughs> but he did score many. Yeah, but quite it's a double at I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Quite, quite a double at that. And who, who's the, the player you've most enjoyed working with, ex-player, over the years? Is the one that, that stands out? Mm, probably Trevor Brooking. Yeah. Um, Mark Lawrenson as well. Uh, diff two different characters. Uh, the, the role has changed, though. Yeah. I mean, we now talk about co-commentators. Uh, when I first started, one of the best was Don Reavy, mm. uh, who could you know, sum up why A are beating B and what B have got to do to beat A. Uh, and he only used to come in about every 15 minutes. Yeah, but yeah. now... You know, the expert is supposed to talk about every goal and every near miss, which I don't quite understand, actually, because yeah. I, I think many a time doing commentary and I wish I could just sh shut up for 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, maybe people would like it longer. <laughs> uh, just to work out where has, where's he gone? What's he doing? Mm -hmm. um, and I think the expert gets a greater chance to do that. Yeah. Growing up, I always wanted to get into commentary. I'm fortunate enough to do that with Aston Villa. And I have to say, you and, you and Motti definitely inspired me. You, your two most memorable phrases for me were, were interesting, very interesting, and look at his face, yeah. just look at his face. Yeah. Were they, did they just, just come to Obviously, they just came to you at the moment, and it worked perfectly. Uh, yes, I mean, it's the only time I've ever used that, to the best of my knowledge. Right, um, yeah. I, you have to say that's magnificent about Maradona. I think yeah. I've probably competed... Uh, com uh, uh, also used a couple of other times, yeah. but that, you know, as you as you well know, that was Fanny Lee scoring for Derby against Manchester City, mm. and it was just that as he got the ball, I thought he fancies this. Yeah. So that's how the expression went. He scores, uh, and and it, the look on his face was like a kid who, who yeah. just tasted the cream. And also there was a, a certain other look on his face that said. This is going to be a memorable goal in my yeah. career, and it was. it was. And they they went on to take the title. Yeah, and you'll have to come to Villa Park soon. We'd we'd love to see you there. Oh, um, thanks for the invitation. I'll try and take it up. <laughs> we'll, we'll lay out the claret and blue carpet. Thanks very much, Thank Barry. You.